Why do we employ this company who are not from the will? They're employed staff from outside the will who paid them over one and a quarter million pounds. And then only a few weeks ago, extended their contract for a further three years. I remember a statement when I was on the scrutiny committee a while ago, uh, when they were brought in the first time in Kingdom of Cost and the Council, a single penny's itself were given as a clear annual income. Well, I feel the one and a quarter million we paid Kingdom should be seen as lost income that Will could have realised, and Will now, unfortunately, have the opportunity to do so, because under the Council contract, as I understand it, we are now obliged to keep the existence of that. One second, sir. Considering they were housed and working out of one of our council owned offices, it should be quite easy to reinstate the service in house, ensuring a better outcome for the whole of the will and conducting the business in such a way as not to bring this council into disrepute while alienating all the residents of our in the process. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Councillor Phil Davis, you now have up to three minutes to second the Labour amendment. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'm, I'm moving, or I'm seconding, sorry, the, the Labour amendments to this motion. And I think um, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, really, that what I thought were fairly two fairly reasonable amendments have been, um, you know, so roundly uh, criticised. On the zero tolerance approach, um, I still believe that the zero tolerance approach is the right way forward. Because the opposite of the zero tolerance approach is to say, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I think it is. It's okay no. to allow your. Well, that's the, that's the, of the converse of a zero tolerance approach. It's sometimes so. It's illogical to argue that that, that is a sensible way forward. The environment agency is. Quiet in the gallery. Let the councillor speak. So I don't in any way think the zero tolerance approach, which is saying to people it's not okay to do this is mutually exclusive from education. I think you can do both. It's not an at all. Um, so that was the spirit behind which we moved that amendment. And I think the reason why this zero tolerance approach uh, was adopted in the first place because of the huge number of complaints that we previously received from members of the public about littering the doll family. That was the, uh, the, the reason for it in the first place. And, and countless Mori surveys of residents have put that as the number one issue uh, under antisocial behaviour. So that was our response to that criticism. And in the second um, amendment, we're, we're simply saying, um, when it was in-house before, before it went out to Kingdom, it didn't work. We didn't have um, large uh, uh, scale enforcement. We didn't have a, a significant improvement in um, the, the state of the borough. Moira Moira Buckland's wrong. There is data to show that the um, that the borough has uh, improved in cleanliness. And so then, for Moira then to link that to our highways contract and street lighting is just frankly nonsense. Um, but going back to this this um, this motion, um, I think these are two these are two reasonable amendments. Uh, I congratulate uh, uh, Anita Leach for the action she's taken. I think it is a sensible thing for everybody to get round the table and look at all possible models. There must be examples of good practice elsewhere in the country because other authorities will be looking at this issue. But you know. It, let's just not get into the, you know, the Tories have adopted their default mode, which is to attack someone personally, um, demand their resignation, and then to say this is a U-turn. Paul, I could say this is us listening to the people of where we're <laughs> so, 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 you know, we We can all play those stupid political games. We're focusing on the real issue here, is how do we address the issue of littering in Dolph Farm? I think these are sensible amendments. Let's get round the around the table and all party faces, but let's do this quickly because at the moment we haven't got a new policy and we're coming up to the busiest months, busiest months of the, the year with visitors going to work. So please support our amendments uh, and let's get on with that, really addressing this issue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Look at the Environment Agency. Look at what they say about zero tolerance. Quiet in the gallery. Now, we've got the right to reply. First of all, um, Councillor Alan Brains, proposer of the first motion, the Liberal Democrat motion, you don't have your right to reply and may address the Council for up to five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't propose to take that long. Um, I just really want to deal with two issues that have arisen uh, from the debate, and uh, probably the two areas of contention uh, with the, the Labour uh, amendment. Uh, firstly, there is the question of bringing the contract back in-house or, alternatively, going out to tender to other companies.
issues. Now, the scrutiny committee heard during the year when the when the <coughs> uh, was the call in about the uh, issuing of the new contract or the renewal of the contract to Kingdom. We were told that three companies had initially expressed interest in this contract, and that only two had actually submitted uh, a tender. And of those two, Kingdom was infinitely the superior one. Well, if Kingdom had been found utterly wanting, are we really going to expect this uh, inferior uh, bid to be acceptable? Um, because the problem is that any model that we, we look at, which is rewarding an outside company, is going to suffer this fundamental flaw that people are being uh, paid, and Kingdom were uh, paid, were paid £1,328,000 of Wirral money uh, mm -hmm. to enforce their contract. And, and the second point comes out this issue of zero tolerance. Uh, and, and this is something I do take exception to, because it might make for a kind of macho soundbite, but what zero tolerance actually leads to is crass, insensitive penalties against people who can ill afford them. And the, the, the problem is, if, if we promise to look at what the government actually say on their website uh, about how um, these things should be handled, it says quite clearly, don't issue a fixed penalty notice if enforcement action is inappropriate or be disproportionate for the offence. Yes. Do not issue it if it is, littering is done accidentally. Yes. Don't issue an FBN in the following cases if it's not in the public interest to do so, if the offender is vulnerable, if the offence is trivial. Well, what we have seen again and again with these documented cases is the Kingdom they pursued trivial offences and they pursued people who were vulnerable. And, and this is what has brought them into disrepute. We can't afford that to go back to this, this idea of zero tolerance. We've got to have a balanced case. If somebody accidentally drops some litter, you don't find them hundred pounds. You say, excuse me, do you realise you dropped a piece of litter? And they pick it up. If they then refuse, by all means find them. Well, what if you drop the litter balance, a balanced approach? We, we, we really need to focus on the people who are really causing problems, who discard, take away food cartons on the street, or allow their dogs to power our pavements. Those are things that we're really concerned about, because it's damaging our environment. And they are hard to, to deal with, admittedly, but they have to be done so. Otherwise, we're going to be living uh, in, in an increasingly disfigured environment. And we need to have it in our power to do something about it. So I do urge Council to, to reject the, the Labour amendment and to support our motion. So now to the voting. Voting first on the Labour amendment to the Liberal Democrat motion. Sorry, I beg your pardon, Councillor Cleary. So, now we come to Councillor Pat Cleary, the proposer of the second motion, the Green Party Liberal Democrat motion. You have your right of reply and may address the Council for up to five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're not the first mayor to try and silence me, but I'll, 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 I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, thank you very much. And I won't be long, but I did want to make a, a couple of important points based on what's been said uh, previously. Um, yeah, I think it's a shame, you know, I think it means it does deserve credit for, for bringing this contract to an end. I mean, Matthew Patrick had the opportunity during the call-in. We had ample evidence, it was a long call-in, we heard all the evidence from all the people who been affected. He had the opportunity to not renew the contract, and he didn't. So some credit is, is due there. It, it really is a shame, though, that you've kind of spoiled it with this amendment, you know, persisting with the, with the zero tolerance approach. But I would also say to the mid Dems and the Conservatives, if, you, if you'd have backed me 12 months ago, you know, we might, we might be here tonight, we might be here tonight. So, uh, the other point I want to make, I mean, Anita said that appeals have been dealt with effectively. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, my experience when people approaching me was that, you know, when they had legitimate concerns, when they stood up the kingdom, uh, they appealed the process, and sometimes they went to court. More often than not, it just fell away. It just fell away. I don't think appeals were dealt with effectively. I think kingdom relied on the fact that most people would just pay off. Uh, and not contest the contest the bond. Uh, so I think that, that's definitely a lesson to be learned uh, going forward. Um, the final point I would make is um, thanks to Chris for actually mentioning community welfare. He's the only one who actually did. Uh, that is the purpose of 
our particular motion. It's really important. I first raised the Preston model in this chamber several years ago. Uh, it's, it's working terrifically well. It's not easy, but they're doing an amazing job in Preston. It's had huge benefits. They deserve enormous credit. Uh, and I want us to do the same thing. I want us to do the same thing. It's a real model to take us forward, given that austerity looks like it's going to last forever under this government. Hopefully not, but you know, the way things are going, it, 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 it provides real benefits to local communities. And we need to learn from that. I'm just concerned that the lack of any reference to that uh, from the Labour councillors just indicates that it's a bit of a skin deep, skin deep commitment at the moment. And I really hope that that will change in the months and years ahead. Thank you, Mr. So now we do come to the voting. Voting first on the Labour amendment to the Liberal Democrat motion. Electronic voting system is now activated. Will members please cast their votes? Has everyone voted? Close the vote. against 23, abstentions 1, the amendment 26 against, I beg your pardon. Votes in favour 34, votes against 26. The, the amendment is therefore carried. You come more often, you'll see a lot more of this. Zero tolerance is not legal. Quiet in the gallery. We're now moving on with the voting. Voting now on the Green Party Liberal Democrat motion moved by Councillor Clear Cleary. Electronic voting system. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I jumped a line again. That, that last amendment was carried. Therefore, we now vote on the Liberal Democrat motion as amended. <laughs> <laughs> voting on the Liberal Democrat motion as amended. Electronic voting system is now activated. Will members please cast their votes? Yes, Councillor Kelly. Clearly, the motion is no longer a Liberal Democrat uh, motion. Having been amended, one of those things just for quality. There's no use talking about it as a Liberal Democrat motion any longer. It has now been amended and is the ownership of, I would suggest to you, Mr. Mayor, the Labour Group. <laughs> I'm going to call it the substantive motion. <laughs> so voting is now open. Please count your votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. <laughs> votes in favour 32, votes against 27, abstentions 1, so the substantive motion is carried. <laughs> Voting now on the Green Party Liberal Democrat motion moved by Councillor Cleary. Electronic voting system now activated. Please cast your votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes in favour 26, votes against 34, abstentions 1, the motion is therefore lost. Thank you, 
Councillors. That concludes the business of the extraordinary meeting of Council, which I